this works if you know. Frack tanks a holding tank. I also own a farm. Here we go. You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. We gotta go. Actually, we're ahead of time. So, we are headed to uh, run the R model in the tanker trailer for hopefully a couple days. We'll see what comes of it. The weather's been the big problem. It's been holding up a lot of people as far as it was dryish, then it got wetter. Well, it wasn't dryish, but it was doable. And then all of a sudden we got more rain. So, appreciate you guys watching along. I gotta unload the torches, and we gotta load some things into the truck as we see it snowed a little bit here. I don't think it snowed where we're going, but uh, hopefully we have a good day. Appreciate you guys joining along. I just thought about it. I never opened my drain valve thinking, and uh, <clears throat> it's 25 degrees today. Uh, we are gonna be frozen. That pump is gonna be frozen. Well, at least we made it easy enough to open it up. Oh, I, I didn't even think. Amateur hour. Go back home, manure, and not even think about nothing. So, alrighty. I guess we're going to go mess with that. Okay, we are back. Got to the truck. A uh, little bird manure. I uh, have some concerns like the pump being frozen um also my other concern is i'm trying to check the oil um what am i doing my other concern is the pump being frozen well pump being frozen that's my biggest concern and then we'll let's start well we should be good there somebody did say in the comments once um recently you need flares and uh caution triangles Flares, caution triangles, and a fire extinguisher. That is what is in those red boxes. A little cold, but she'll go. We'll let her warm up. So our boom functions. As we know, we got a spare one, and actually, Chris Pettit, who I used to work with, he gave me a number of a guy to build that does the solenoids and the actual wiring of it. So it makes them uh, completely uh, no fittings or anything, no gaskets. Self self contained solenoid setups or something? That's probably not right. Somebody write in the comments. So he hit me up the other day and said, hey, here, check these guys out because they, you know, in the dairy world, there's a lot of solenoids that do things. So they got their triple mower set up there, all washed up and good to go. Ooh, it is not frozen. Alrighty, we just pulled out of Welcome Stock. Neil let me park the truck there. I appreciate it. We'll probably be back doing a little bit of hauling there. Uh, maybe right to tank or maybe drag line. I don't really know. It's going to get busy towards the beginning of April. Everybody's going to want to run this wet winter has kind of held up some people so we're moving about a half mile and we will be hauling um to track tank and they are drag lining into a grassland bar um dribble bar so we got everything for this truck for the pto and for the silage truck so hopefully we have a good day and we make some money back um because as aaron said he's got everything for the super liner but at the end of the day checkbook's getting really thin and we got to make some money this year so that is kind of all part of it trucks cost money but they're a necessary evil and when they're good they're good and when they're bad things get expensive quickly so can't see around that house there we go I think 
they're just filling the frack tank right now. I just passed one truck previously. that zip tie so it doesn't rip that push those back down and around but yeah this will be about fall and then they'll get going so there they are applicating away well we're keeping it right up so truck leaving another truck just pulled ahead bunch of stuff together but we can two trucks can offload at the same time as long as it's guided out me swinging all the way over doesn't work that great but i got in a rhythm of it so they wrapped up that section as you see the applicators doing the outside they got some there some here staying pretty busy so i just saw gorski he caught me on film yeah i don't know what they're doing for gallons per minute i'll find out i'll write it down here but we gotta remember to get that bearing that does the flapper valve so we can field spread. We got a PTO for the truck now and you guys are dirty. So how this works if you know, frack tank's the holding tank and then that's actually pumping it to the lead pump and then that goes out through the drag. So I believe they're on six to five inch drags. So the red hose that's out there is the actual five inch um, that's more flexible and you can pull on do stuff like that but yeah staying busy here got more red hose for drag on the front air compressor for when they want to blow out another truck coming in <laughs> based on one more round of trucks. So this is my last one here, and then uh, we're going down the road. We've been there before, right next to the train tracks. Makes a nice big turnaround. Uh, they'll finish what they got here, and then they'll pump out, or blow out, and get everything moved. So they're dribble barring onto here because there's actually cover crop, and I believe they actually chopped the cover crop. Um, if, it's, if it's good enough quality, otherwise it worked through it. Cover crop for soil health, and you can use it, utilize it for feed. You get to Pennsylvania and South, they don't call it cover crop; they call it an actual crop. Because usually, there's quite a lot of farms actually that chop all of their ground and then plant corn into it. So they utilize the rye or triticale or um, barley, well wheat, so, rye, triticale, wheat, barley. Barley is shorter. So, yeah, a lot of options with it, but it's all in management practices and land base. We have come down here before. There's a, there's a good section here, and they are going to get moved over. Um, yeah, it actually goes out. There's, there's a good section here. So there's a turnaround right at the end. Train tracks go by. I'm going to adjust the timing on the fuel pump and see if we can get If I get a little bit better drivability, I think I'm on the less laid back side. I think I could get some more out of it. Okay, we got it adjusted a little bit. I'm gonna see how it runs. Yeah, go find a tennis ball in the cab. We've been throwing a little bit. They got one truck down here to move around stuff and they're getting everything lined up. That is the one thing. So, drag line technically, three people, technic, yeah, three, about three people sound real good. Hose humper, applicator, and then uh, got the frack tank or jumping around doing stuff. So when you gotta move, they gotta move the frack tank, tractor with the frack tank. They got the cart that goes on the hose humper, um, applicator, the pump, and the air compressor. So it lines up where they gotta move a few things, which I know there's some crews that you see. Out here, you don't see much of it where they got carts on carts on carts and they're moving stuff. Um, 
Them pumps and stuff weigh a lot. I will, and the big air compressors weigh a lot too. So, moving around, switching, but once they're running, like, I don't even know how many. So we probably did six or seven round trips. Maybe more than that. I'll do the math, give me a second. So theoretically, if we did six trips, um, like 3,000, 300,000 to 330, but yeah, with the foam, because we are at a place that is separating, um, with the foam, you can't fill the tankers very full every time, but let me climb up there and show you where I'm at with it. So as I'm filling, I got an indicator. We got to change it up. So it's a PVC tube with ends on it. And it doesn't float very well in foam, especially when it gets filled. But as you see, it splashes up out of here. So I know it's slow down. And yeah. So we are probably like 95% full. And uh, well, here comes more people. More of them. They're moving the equipment. Okay, she is back. Alternator's been good. As we've talked about, the Green Mac has the same alternator in it. We just got to pull the front off and uh, probably get it rebuilt. I'd rather not have a spare that isn't rebuilt. I do see that this line, we got to put different ones here. I got a little bit of an oil leak there, but otherwise she's back good. And we'll see how she runs. I adjusted timing a little bit. Frack tank's here. They're moving everything else. We're going to start filling the frack tank. That way when they get here, they can be good to go. So a little bit of move around. I pulled down here because I was the first one not to go back and James was going to help him move, but Mikey's in the truck with Steve and yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so they got all the hose laid out, got the zigzag because they're length sections and then out here and he's headed out to go hook onto the other end of the drag and then they'll start priming the pump. So we'll get away from here. Manure doesn't kill you usually. It's uh, when it's under air pressure and it blows apart with the... So for those of you who are new and haven't watched previously when we're actually filming some of the dragline crew, get your hose humper, which was hooked to the hose reel that reels up hose. That hose humper is designed just to take ease and put the hose where it's supposed to be. Um, so if the applicator's trying to get in the sketchier corner or something like that, or has to flip the hose the other way, they'll utilize that wheel on the back to push or pull um, the hose. There is some limitations. You can't just grab onto it and drag it all across. Well, frack tank, giant holding tank, 28,000 gallons, I think. And then getting charged up to the lead pump. And then if you get far enough away, you put a booster pump and so on and so on. But yeah, right now, there is no manure in there. Once the applicator, he just turned around, he'll start going back and forth. But he'll get the system primed up. You can slug it if you actually push it real fast. So here, granted, it doesn't have sand manure or manure salt. So the last two times we've been hauling manure, I've been more on the liquid side. As you can tell, pump is at an idle. He's gonna control it out there, but it is priming up which takes quite a bit of manure to prime a pump, uh, pipe or drag hose. So frack tank's going down. He's gonna start offloading. It's freaking snowing, bud. So other places of New York, like I got a dusting. Um, James said there are some places in Massachusetts that got five inches of snow last night. And I've seen around the Ithaca era, there's a bunch of people that posted that's like two to three inches, so. Spring is not here yet. I'm gonna tell you that. Last load and it's actually like blizzarding out. Uh, I give up mother nature, you won again. So I'll get pumped out. I don't know if all the trucks in front of us, I don't know if we're the end of it, but uh, yeah, they got enough in the frack tank or in the lines to finish up what they got in the field. So that was a good quick 18 acres. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. They only 
only got about three passes left there. That grassland bar there, the dribble bar, that's quite the piece of gear. Cover some ground with it. Very consistent. So they are anything that's getting dribble barred, dribble bar applicated on is gonna get chopped for feed. So they're trying to get some nitrogen on um, to the cover crop so it keeps growing and then they'll come in, mow it, and chop it. And then you got cow chow. Honestly, it's a gorgeous day other than the random snow and the wind. Like, sun's out, blue skies. So, we are done for the day. We're gonna go back. We got Mac parts we could work on. Probably should do that for a little bit. Um, this truck, we do have the new PTO for it. It was a pretty penny, but once it's on, we will be able to field spread. And it's the PTO itself, it's a Mac PTO, comes off with the actual uh, input, input speed of the transmission. So we can spread it in neutral, or we can spread it first, or we can spread it in first low, which we really don't run the truck in first low much. It gives us a ability to field spread. That's really what it's doing. Um, but we're gonna go park this where we were. They're not parking at the farm there because uh, nobody's parking at the farm because they're building a new they're building a new barn and it is extremely impressive. So we will see if maybe sometime we can get a little tour of what's going on there, but. That barn is huge. Parked up, dirty, doing its thing. Just a farm truck, you know. But, alrighty, we're gonna jump home. Um, yeah, we'll be home seven, get some work done. I do like these pot meters pulled up behind. <laughs> Looks good. Truck needs a freaking bath now. So this was the first fields that we actually did today. Oh, window's going back up. Looks great. Like that dribble bar lays it out nicely. You can't see anything here. Um, going up over here. So we were pulling in here. So it is all done up. Manure put where it's supposed to be. Looks good. So we did 200. I think he said 230, maybe 260 thousand there. So not too bad plus that was 23 acres and then uh over yonder where we wrapped up the day that was another 18 acres so 41 acres done moved in between good day well by the time we got done with dinner and uh it was bob's birthday so shout out to bob which is isaiah's father and yeah it's snowing still just got home so what is it 8 30 we got to be up early get our stuff done so i'll see you guys uh i don't know i think we're still gonna put the mac parts into this video we will see how it all lays out but appreciate you guys watching along liking subscribing and i'll see you guys on the next one